Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMC. In this video, we are going to do division worksheet in class 2. We know that division is one of the mathematical operations on numbers. Children will be able to do the sums in this video if they are clear with the concept of division that they have learned so far in class 2. Let us go into the details of this video now. The first topic that we are going to revise in the worksheet is splitting of a large group into smaller groups of equal size. Let us see this with the help of examples. Here we have 8 sharpness with us. There are 2 children. How will you split these 8 sharpness among these 2 children equally? Let us do that now. Take one sharpener and give it to the boy. Take another sharpener, give it to the girl. Repeat the same process. Take the next sharpener, give it to the boy. Take the next sharpener and give it to the girl. Now move on to the next sharpener, take it and give it to the boy. There are three more still, so take another sharpener, give it to the girl. You are still left with two more sharpness, which can be given one to the boy and another to the girl. So, how many sharpness that each of them have now? Four. If eight sharpness are divided equally between two children, each gets four. Let us see another example now. Twelve cars are divided equally among three groups. How many cars are there in each group? Here we have 12 cars and let us take these yellow circles as groups. There are three groups. Now we have to divide these 12 cars equally among three groups. How do you do that? Take the first car, put it in the first group. Take the second car, put it in the second group. Take the third car and put it in the third group. Next, move on to the next car. Put one in the first group. Take the next car and put in the second group. Take the next car and put it in the third group. Repeat the same process. Take the next car and put it in the first group. Take the next car and put it in the second group. Now, take the next car and put it in the third group. You are still left with three more cars. So, you can give one car to each group. So finally, how many cars are there in each group? Each group has four cars. So if 12 is divided equally into three groups, there are four in each group. So if 12 is divided by three, it is equal to four. Dividing into equal groups is called division. To do many more such sums for dividing into equal groups concept, please do check out my Introduction to Division video for class 2. Link to that video is given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. Let's move on to the next topic now. Dividing objects into equal groups. Divide 10 by 2. 10 objects have to be equally divided into two groups. So here we have 10 triangles and there are two groups. You have to divide 10 objects equally into two groups. In the previous examples, we took each object one by one and put it in the groups respectively. Now here what are we going to do? Divide 10 by 2. So what I am going to do is take two objects and put one each in the two groups. So put one in this group, another in the group 2. Take two more objects and put one in each group. Take two more triangles, put one in each group. Keep repeating this. Take two more objects, put one in each group. Take two more objects and put one in each group. You are still left with two more objects. 
so you can take them and put one in each group. After you have taken off all the objects, there should be equal number of objects in each group. Shall we check that now? Yes, we have five objects in each group. So there are five objects in each group and what does this convey? 10 divided by 2 equals 5. This is also splitting of objects equally between groups. But in the previous example, we took each object one by one and split it among the available number of groups. But here as it is 10 divided by 2, we are taking two two objects and splitting it among the two groups. Let us do more examples to revise this concept better. Divide 9 by 3. 9 objects have to be equally divided into 3 groups. So here we have 9 squares and there are 3 groups. Since it is 9 divided by 3, I am going to take 3 objects and put 1 each in the 3 groups. So take 3 objects, put 1 each in the groups. Next, take three more objects and put one each in the three groups. So, I am taking three more objects and putting one each in the three groups. Still, I am left with three more objects. So, take them and put one each in the three groups. After you have taken out all the objects, there should be equal number of objects in each group. Do we have equal number of objects in each group? Yes, we have three objects in each group. So what does this mean? 9 divided by 3 equals 3. To do more such sums, please do visit my video Dividing Objects into Equal Groups. Link to that video is given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. Let us move on to the next topic that we are going to revise. Divide objects into equal groups by drawing dots. This is another method of dividing the objects into equal groups and finding the answer. Divide 4 by 2. We have 4 objects over here. We have to divide it by 2. That is, let us draw dots among 2 objects. So, then I am drawing a dot among the first 2 objects and then around the next 2 objects. So, this is dividing 4 by 2. So, how many groups I am getting here? 4 divided by 2, I am getting 2 groups and each group has 2 objects each. So, 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Let us do another example to understand this concept better. Divide 4 by 4. I have 4 objects. I have to divide it by 4. So, I'll have to draw a circle or an ellipse among the 4 objects. So, here I've drawn a circle around the 4 objects because it is divide 4 by 4. So, how many groups I get if I do that? I'll get 1 group which is having all the 4 objects. So, 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Let us do some more examples. Divide 12 by 4. I have 12 objects. I am going to divide it by 4, which means I will have to draw a circle around 4 objects each. Let me draw a circle around the first 4 objects. Next, draw a circle around the next 4 objects. Still, you have 4 more objects. So, draw a circle around the next 4 objects. So, how many groups you are getting here? 3 groups. So, 12 divided by 4 equals 3. This means that when you divide 12 into 4, 4 items each, you will get 3 groups and each group is having 4 objects. Let us find out what is divide 15 by 3. So, I have 15 objects and I am going to divide it by 3. So, draw a circle around each of the three objects. 3, next 3, next 3. Draw a circle around the next three objects. And still you have three more objects. So, draw a circle around the next three objects. So, how many groups you are getting here? Five groups. So, 
15 divided by 3 equals 5. Next, we are going to do write a division sum. Here we have 8 flowers and 2 baskets. What am I going to do now? I am going to place 4 flowers in this basket and other 4 flowers in this basket. What is the division statement? 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 8 flowers when equally split among 2 baskets, you get 4 flowers in each basket. So the division statement is 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Next, we have 6 pencils over here and 3 pouches. I am going to place 2 pencils in each of them. What is the division statement? 6 divided by 3 equals 2. So 6 pencils divided equally among 3 groups will give you the answer 2. That is 2 pencils in each pouch. The next example that we are going to see is we have 8 plants over here and there are 4 pots. How are we going to do this now? I am going to place 2 plants in each pot. What is the division statement? 8 divided by 4 equals 2. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 2 under the topic division for the children of which I have covered the first topic what is division in a separate video, dividing objects into equal groups in another video and in this video division worksheet we revised whatever we have learnt in class 2 under the topic division so far. Link to all the related videos are given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. With this, we are completing the topic for division. From next, we will be starting with the topic shapes and patterns. Thank you for watching my video. If you like the quality of my content, give a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for receiving regular notifications of all the new interesting videos that I am going to make in my channel. See you again.